everyone, my name is Jenny and welcome to this week's After School Activity Zone at Deer Park. So today we're going to make some necklaces or some pictures with um, some pasta that I'm going to show you how to dye. So what you need is if you just um, get a bag of pasta, you might have some in the um, pantry cupboard or maybe mum or dad could buy it for you. And some food colouring, some vinegar, you don't need a lot of vinegar, just a little bit and if you have a bowl and a spoon. So I'll show you how to do the dyeing of the pasta first. So the vinegar enables the colour to come out really nice and bright on the pasta. Okay, so you just need a little bit, a little pour. I might do a little bit more. Okay, and then this one we're gonna do green. So if you put in a few drops of green, it'll make it nice and bright. So, and then just mix it up with the spoon and get some of your pasta. So about how much I've done, you could do just a few more handful as well. So put it in there and then just stir it up, mix it all up so that the colour goes all over the pasta. So that covers it. Okay, so then if you get some paper towel and put the paper towel on a plate, maybe not on the kitchen bench because the food dye from the colouring, it might stay in your bench. And you might, not be, might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, so just use some tongs and you can put it out on the paper. It doesn't take very long to dry, maybe just a couple of hours. So if you do, Lots of, you can do different colours. Just maybe give your bowl a wash so you get rid of all the green food colouring and then start another one, maybe with some pink or some yellow. Just see what you've got or you can maybe get some when you go to the supermarket. Okay, so if you just leave that to dry, just make sure that they're not touching each other so they don't stick together, just spread them out. Okay, so this is my necklace that I've made. I've got some wool or if you've got string or anything fishing wire at home and then you can thread your pasta you can do a color pattern if you like so today i've got some brown some green some red pasta and some yellow pasta so i've got lots of nice colors to work with if you've got different food coloring i know you can get black or purple you can do that okay so i'll put it on some wool here and if you just tie it together got a nice necklace that you can wear. There you go. Okay, beautiful. So if you don't want to make any jewellery, you can also use this to make patterns and colours and maybe a picture. So it's a good idea if you actually, if you've got some glue, you can use this glue or the stick-on glue, the roll glue I mean. So just get some of the glue. You can do a nice mosaic just a pattern or if you want to you can try a picture so i thought since we've got some brown and some green i might make a tree i think you might need quite a lot of glue so be very generous with it okay it can be the trunk and i might spread it out a bit with the branches You could also even do different shaped pasta. You can get bow ties and stuff, so that would be nice. You could do some nice pictures with that. And then we'll put some in. And while I'm looking at it, I thought we could even do a sun with the yellow. I think you'd have to leave this to dry for a little bit just because I've put so much glue on it just so that it sticks well. Now I just want to do the sun. Lots of glue. So yeah, you could use your imagination and do anything you like. So since you've got 
lots of time at home now. It's good to come up with different craft activities that you might not normally have time to do. There you go. Okay, so I don't know. I hope you like this idea of um, colouring the pasta and making some jewellery. Anyway, we'll see you again next week. So thanks for coming. Bye.